I offer same day personal tarot card readings for $20. You receive your reading the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below of this video for details of how to book. Thank you. Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here for tuning in. We're just gonna jump right in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with. What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. So of course it's not gonna resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. Thank you. And I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Cancer. Okay, looks like here that they um, are making things equal with you or want to continue to make things fair, neutral, and equal with you. For the sake of positive changes, and a lot of things are shifting here. For the sake of progression and movement, okay? And so re relocating, traveling for some of you here um, is what they want to do with you and or also this is maybe what they're doing, you know, like heading towards you. Whatever it is, this person is willing to, you know, work on things here, you know, with you or towards you in some way, shape or form, make something happen, especially when it comes to business, money and finances here. Okay. And for others of you, I will say I do get someone that's just kind of literally minding their own business and they may not really be in contact with you. I'm not sure who this is quite yet. And they're just kind of hidden and quiet and mysterious all the time. Others of you, it's like if they're dealing with you, there is something that is kind of confusing them or, you know, they're not able to really process or understand about you and them. Okay. And once again, so it looks like you're either this is just someone that's confidently on their own doing their own thing and or this is someone that does have passion towards you and with you and they do want to pursue you. Okay. So yeah, either this they're just partying and celebrating and they're really happy and excited for whatever's going on in their life, or this is a friend for some of you, um, or this is someone who wants to, you know, create a party with you or reunite, reunite with you, celebrate with you, have a good time with you. There's something either or. So you either are friends or, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so either or here. Oh no, I know. And I was like, ugh, this is why I always say, I should just say what I'm like feeling or intuitively of a message. Um, yeah, well, cause I was like, unless it's a third party and then instantly it's like, that's what stresses them out. So right after that, it's like things are great and fun and cool. And then all of a sudden so much panic and stress and anxiety is how they're feeling for whatever reason. So I don't know if it's just because you know, they want this with you really bad or something obviously didn't happen to ideal, something happened with, with that or are they having an affair with you? You know what I mean? Are they cheating on you or cheating with you? I don't know. Um, it looks like here that, well, whatever it is, they still choose to kind of move forward more in terms of like business or finances or their career path, whatever it may be here. Okay, well, whatever that was, they still have passion with you and towards you. They still feel, you know, excited and happy to be with you or to do whatever here with you, especially... If it is like an affair kind of situation, yeah, they have romantic emotions towards you, or they have fun with you, or they like you, or they care for you here. Looks like they're still trying to figure out how to make things work with you or, you know, invest with you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, that does seem to kind of make them feel a little bit like bothered and discontent and just kind of a little stuck, um, uncomfortable. Or whatever that may be here all right and now they're uh definitely in pain about you okay so that's yeah so they're very heartbroken here excuse me about you for some reason hmm 
unless they really have passion towards someone else and so they feel like they you know they're stuck and they've settled with you and they don't know what to do now i don't know either or it looks like here they still choose to want to be committed to you or towards you um some of you maybe they just want to just get in a marriage jump in and get in a marriage with you and or they go to someone of you know spiritual religious guidance to get information counseling to figure out what to do about the two of you at the same time they they do genuinely know what's happening okay in the situation as well though Ooh, okay i'll take those okay so it looks like here that they still want to make things work with you or they want to continue working with you literally if this is like business stuff for some of you here so this could be about contracts either or it looks like that they that's what makes them still have fun with you or like you or care for you or you know what i mean want to still spend time with you in some way shape or form and that also makes them want to go inward with themselves and kind of figure out what's going on but also maybe kind of go to people of wisdom and guidance and you know counseling or something to kind of see what else they can do and keep to, and also possibly like i said keep to themselves about this but for some of you it looks like here this is someone from the past um and or an ex for some of you or also like i kind of get the sense of that like maybe they also just want to they feel pretty pretty happy with you like they still or they want to go back to like things from the past here with you for some of you here that's something that would make them really happy and feel that things are really like pretty successful and solid with the both of you whatever that may be and they do feel, you know, in their strength about that with you and them, with whatever that may be, stuff about the past. That seems to make them feel emotionally really confident and successful and happy here with you. Okay. And so it looks like here that that's causing them to, that right there though, so them like wanting this to happen or approaching you or feeling, you know, really good emotionally to do this with you. That's where it's like there's something painful again. There's something emotionally like that they really have to accept that it's done with or it's over with or they have to change about themselves or with you that they're realizing, okay, at home. Oh, okay. So this is someone that lives with you. Yeah, so that's what's going on. So they're they're stressing out of, or there's something here about that going on. I don't know why or how, but this is something, you know, within the home setting here. I mean, for some of you, if they live with you, but others of you, they don't have to live with you. But I do get the sense here that, but right after that, it, it kind of shows like them, you know, something of success and recognition, them wanting this with you or them having this with or without you, either or, I don't know. Um, them still feeling this way with you and them, because at the same time, they still want to offer you something. So they still want to create and offer an opportunity of some sort here with you. Okay, but that right there immediately is what causes them to be in more pain for whatever reason. Okay, well, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I think that's about it. All right, thank you, bye.